sirve. Mitäs se kuul. Isä. Oh, älä mulle mökkä. So you saw the funny dog. It's really guarding the yard, but he doesn't do anything. <laughs> it just barks you up and down the street. <laughs> it's so funny. But you can't touch him. Apparently, he does bite fingers if you leave them hanging low. But uh, <laughs> I'm not going to try that. <laughs> Would be funny to try to make friends with him, but apparently that's the guard dog. <laughs> so you can't. But I don't know what this is from the local store. Looks like a pizza, but it's not. It's like bread, maybe pizza combination, something like that. I don't know. Cold, but it was pretty good. I ate a small one yesterday and then I bought some carrot and uh, coleslaw. I think this is so I'm just going to eat this with hands <laughs> like an animal. But yeah, I found this nice Airbnb in this uh, nice little town or city. I don't know which one it is, it is but uh, uh, let me check the name where I actually am. Sigulda. Sigulda. I don't know how you pronounce that, but I guess it's, I just say it as it's written. So I'm gonna leave tomorrow and I'm gonna be going to Lithuania. And the city there was Mariampole. I don't know how you say that either, but it's pretty close to Polish border. So from there, I'm easily in Poland the day after. And I'm not gonna eat on video because it's disgusting. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's my checkup for today. This is my rest day. I've only been walking for the last two hours, maybe three hours all over the city and checking all the places. A nice, nice little place. I, I, you can tell there's tourists in the summer because there's nice hotels and nice restaurants everywhere. And the prices are a bit high. Coffee was two euros, for example. So I'm not really spending that much here. I'm just buying groceries and eating stuff from there. But uh, my daily budget is stretching. I've decided a daily budget, but it, I'm not really keeping on it <laughs> all that well, at least. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see how it goes the rest of the way. But I hope Albania and Montenegro are a bit cheaper. I'm sorry, my hand was on the way. But yeah, this is heated up with a stove. Uh, I love what it is. A stove? I don't, I don't care. You put wood in it. <laughs> I, I did keep it up last night for a few hours, but then I got bored. And luckily, there is a radiator, so you can plug it on. It's not that cold inside. Inside, it's pretty nice. It's just like a normal normal house temperature. And you can adjust it. It was a bit too hot, at least, for me in the beginning. And very nice bed in here. I, I thought that this was a very hard mattress. Like, I, I tried it like this, and it's really hard, but uh, damn comfortable. 10 points for the bed. So yeah, nice little, like a cabin cottage situation here. There is a pretty nice bathroom area under this curtain. So there's my sink, my mirror, and there's my shower and my toilet. So everything I need basically. All this for 30 euros per night. So I pay 60 euros for the two nights that I'm staying here. I'm trying to get my wrist working again. I've been trying to stretch it and get the pain off, but it is really bad still. I hope tomorrow is better and I hope it gets better after that. But I do have to ride like 400 kilometers tomorrow if I can if I remember correctly so it's gonna be a long day and not much gravel again because of the wrist hope that it gets better after a few days 
yeah, see you tomorrow, I guess, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so this is what it's come to. <laughs> Some gel from the local pharmacy and uh, a wrist strap for the night. Let's hope it's a little better in the morning. But it's a uh, pretty gnarly nerve pain at the moment. It's uh, shooting up and down my arm every now and then. So it's possible that there's something broken, but I hope not. I hope it's just in need of a rest. But we'll see in the morning how it is. <laughs> but this is the way it is when you travel with the motorcycle. You have issues. <laughs> It's normal. Oh. Yeah, I guess to quote Pavel from Motorcycle Adventures. Another day, another adventure. Towards Lithuania very nice stay in there cozy little Airbnb for two nights my wrist is still in pain but why is my Google Maps shouting at me from the behind so annoying shut up where are you navigating I want to go nowhere I'm actually trying out the riser app navigation now putting in the curvy road setting so hopefully this is not as boring as the highways that I've driven so far for some reason this glove like the wind goes through and into the wrist and this might actually be the problem that I have and mo might be the cause of the issue Maybe it's gotten cold, but I can't really change my, my gloves at this time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Beautiful church, massive and so beautiful, wow. Absolutely gorgeous.
done it. Just had to stop when I saw this on the road. Okay, let's continue. Let's test the audio. Let's see if we can get out of here. Run and gun situation. I'm gonna look at the screen just for fun. Oh. Screw you guys. Yes, I can. So yeah, my point is to try if I can speak to you at 80 kilometers an hour first. So today is saturated with all kinds of pain, back pain, wrist pain, every kind of pain, that's what it is sometimes, hard to predict these things, my back gave out in the morning, shooting pain, took my legs from under me, and now it's uh, pretty tough day tough to continue after that there's no like recipe for it other than rest after it goes this bad but yeah I have to continue 100, 155 to go so let's get on the road <laughs> okay so I was talking all kinds of previously <laughs> thought I was recording but I wasn't DJI should really make something some kind of a device where you can start the recording and see if you're recording on like on the dashboard here so we are very close to my Airbnb in Mariampole I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly but yeah we are in southern Lithuania it was a really painful day because I broke my back in the morning. Actually, my back is broken. It's uh, broken when I was younger. And sometimes it just twitches or you go into a wrong position and it, uh, you, can, you get the shooting pain, nerve pain to your legs. And uh, I lost both of my legs from under me in this, this morning. And, uh, it's been pain ever since, but I managed, somehow managed to drive 360 kilometers to, to my location. I don't even know how this happened. 
my wrist is still in horrible pain but yeah it hasn't been the easiest of days but uh, at least the weather has been nice it rained a couple times a little bit but nothing too bad now we just have to find uh, where I'm gonna be staying for the next night I only have the address oh shit <laughs> I hate these roads <laughs> Cobblestones. Don't know why they make these. Okay, we should be getting really close. Less than 200 meters. So nice. I'm happy that it's pretty quiet here, apparently. Because just a moment ago it was very crowded and I always like if I can get my bike into a safe spot for the night I have no idea what which one of these it is uh, I don't remember the number 13 is this one maybe I should check the check the phone I took like maybe 10 minutes of rambling and talking about Mariampola and I wasn't recording so it was pretty much a failure. 11A. So it was the one before this one. What? That's the red fence. Not the roof. <laughs> and the brown fence. And the black. That's the place. city for some reason it's almost even the tunnels are without graffiti no one has messed up with this looks pretty cool even a piano here does it work <laughs> it actually works too bad I can't play. <laughs> Absolutely stunning, stunning city and parks here. Absolutely beautiful. This, the Baltics is just full of surprises to me. It's a beautiful place. It'd be nice to travel this a little bit longer in the summertime, but it's still a bit too cold. I don't really want to stay here too long. I barely <laughs> can walk in these clothes that I've taken with me, so I need to still keep going south and try to get to a place where the leaves are not falling from the trees. Lithuania is not warm enough. In the daytime it was like the best I got on my bike was 19 degrees Celsius so it was a very nice day. Sun was shining and uh, it was a very very warm day. First one for this trip too bad I had those other pain issues and my back issues so it was a bit of a letdown but uh, it seems to be feeling a little bit better already I tried doing some exercises that usually help and uh, now I can actually walk pretty well so fingers crossed I can continue tomorrow and have a pretty Rel relatively normal day, hopefully. Nice. 
Christ, this is so beautiful. The sun is just setting on the horizon, so there's still some light, but uh, it's pretty dark. <laughs> I can actually see way less than the iPhone can. I can see them on the screen, I can see more than with all my bare eyes, so the new iPhone is very good in low light. Not sure if the image is grainy, but uh, on the screen it looks very good. So hopefully you can agree that the picture quality is, is nice. Oh, there's one building that's not so nice. Abandoned completely. Look at this way. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Even though that's that's probably more interesting. Completely abandoned. I'm not gonna go in. Bald and bankrupt would go in, but I'm uh, I'm not bald, so I'm not gonna go in there. There's probably needles and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna go trampling in there in the dark. No thanks. Yeah, I just thought I would record a very, very short video. Oh, shit. Did I have the light on previously? I had no idea I had the light on. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna be... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go to Poland if I don't have any issues with my back. But even if I have some issues, Poland is maybe a hundred kilometers from here. Just guessing. So it's going to be an easy, easy trip to Poland and uh, in Poland I'm, I'm going to try to find a lowering link to the Tenere 700, the 18 millimeter OEM lowering link. I feel like now that my bike is full of gear, like 20 kilograms of the bags, I'm having way more trouble with the bike than I would like. Uh, because I can reach the ground pretty comfortably without the gear but now with the gear it's so top heavy it's very difficult to keep the bike upright sometimes when you step a little bit differently or, or the ground is not perfectly level it's a little bit of a hassle to keep the bike upright so I'm gonna try to get the two centimeter lowering links to the bike and lower the front end the same amount to, just to get a little bit more comfortable on the bike and a little bit more confidence with the gear that I'm running on. I don't think it's gonna matter too much on the bike's handling on, or performance but it might help just that little bit that I feel like I need and it's a cheap up, upgrade that I can do myself but if I can find them in the Yamaha stores, I will try to get them to change them and uh, put all the bolts onto the correct torques. I don't have any torque tools with me, of course, so it would be easier if, uh, if they would do it for me. But we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna stop this here and uh, continue in the morning. If I see something interesting, I'm probably gonna video it, but I don't see anything right now. I'm gonna try to find some food. So bye.